So this is a demonstration for how you might run the uh, Colorful World experiment that's on the BioBuilder site. Um, the first thing that you or the students could do would be to mix the solution that's used for making the cells competent to receive DNA. And so that is a mixture of something called TB, which is just a salt solution, with a small amount of DMSO. DMSO um, shouldn't be put on ice. It can be left uh, at room temperature. But if you mix 50 microliters of DMSO into 450 microliters of the TB that's cold, that's now your transformation solution. And then uh, that 500 microliters can be split between two fresh tubes, which I've labeled 4-1 and 4-2. So I'll put 250 microliters into each of those new tubes. And that's where we're going to put the cells to make them competent. To put the cells in, we use a dowel, a sterile dowel, and take one of these patches of cells that have grown overnight. I can show you how to make these patches. So this patch of cells, I'll just scrape with the edge of a dowel like this, and get a scoopful on the end, and put them into the solution that's here just by swirling it around like that. And then this goes into the hazardous waste. And if you have a vortexer, you can vortex just to mix the cells up thoroughly. If you don't have a vortexer, I think this works uh, fine just by flicking. So that's 4 1. Now we'll do 4 2. Again, you just scrape the cells up. And obviously, the students would be doing this in teams. This one will swirl. Vortex if you've got it. And now uh, you can take 75 microliters of that transformation solution and add it to the two color generating plasmids that we're studying. So 75 microliters into this tube that has a few microliters of the purple generating plasmid and 75 microliters into the tube that does the, has the green. And again, you can flick it to mix those. We'll do the same with 4-2. And These can sit on ice for a few minutes and then, then can be added to a heat block for 90 seconds exactly at 42 degrees. If you don't have a heat block, you can use a water bath that's uh, heated up to 42. You'll take them out and you'll put them into a rack at room temperature and add a few um, microliters, 500 microliters of uh, broth to each of the tubes and then you can plate them onto the petri dishes that you've labeled for the various transformations, okay?